Can you get a deal, Prime Minister? He insists he can, but time is short and the strain seems to be getting to everyone. Good uh, statement, the Prime Minister. Boris Johnson told MPs the UK had shown great flexibility and to get to a deal, the EU now had to do the same. If our European neighbours choose not to show a corresponding willingness to reach a deal, then we shall have to leave on October the 31st without an agreement. And, and we are ready to do so. Behind him is predecessor, who saw MPs reject her deal three times. So any sign of Labour MPs backing this version? Certainly not at the top. No Labour MP could support such a reckless deal that would be used as a springboard used as a springboard to attack rights and standards in this country. Some don't even think the Prime Minister is even really trying. These proposals are unacceptable, they are unworkable, they are undeliverable. It is all about blaming someone else. In this case, the European Union, when its plan is rejected. Mr Speaker, it is a plan designed to fail. But before this gets anywhere near Parliament, the EU must agree. And today the Irish Prime Minister said these proposals fall short and that whatever Boris Johnson says, they risk the return of new customs checks on the border. Um, they were all abolished in the 1990s. Uh, we don't want to go back to that. The majority of people in the North don't. The majority of people in the Republic of Ireland don't. Um, but if we're going to be in two different customs unions, uh, I think that creates a, a real difficulty that's going to be very hard to reconcile. Today, the President of the EU Council tweeted he was open but unconvinced about the new proposals. Just how open or how unconvinced, we should soon find out. Andy Bell, 5 News.